Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to give you an update today. It's been exactly two weeks since the last video where we planted or started all of the seeds um, and there has been a lot of germination going on. So let's turn the camera around and take a look at what's going on. Okay, we will start from the top shelf here and then we'll go down. So here um, we planted this entire uh, container full of tomatoes. So we had the Dr. Witchie's yellow, the Creole tomato, a beefsteak tomato, and a yellow pear tomato, which is like a cherry tomato. Now we had great germination from all of these. These are all the Baker Creek seeds, um, except for the yellow pear. I put two seeds uh, per cell, and so I'll have to thin these out. I'd like to be able to salvage some of these uh, instead of just pulling it out or pinching it out. I'd like to see if I can split them out and, and save them and just double the yield of my tomatoes here. But great germination. There's two cells back here that didn't germinate, but everything else did really well. On this tray, we did all peppers. This row here is jalapeno peppers. We got some serrano peppers and then some, some shishito peppers. Uh, the California Wonder bell pepper has not sprouted yet, so I don't know what uh, is going on there. Maybe it's just taking a little bit longer. Um, we have the orange sun bell pepper. We had one sprout there in the very back. Um, and then the tomatillos um, did really well. Both cells have sprouted. And then this is some more orange bell pepper here um, and nothing and nothing here. So the bell peppers uh, haven't done anything just yet. This tray here have my herbs. So I've got um, celery, which isn't an herb, but I threw some celery in here and you're just starting to see a little bitty sprout there. Um, so we've got one, two, three cells of those. This is another tomato. This is the black crim tomato that I just stuck in here. Um, two out of the three germinated. Um, some lavender, nothing has happened with the lavender yet. And um, the basil, the sweet basil, I put two seeds per cell and they germinated wonderfully. So all three cells have double basil. The purple basil just started sprouting. So I have two, three, okay, so three out of the four cells sprouted. And you could probably barely see it because they're purple and they're dark. The cilantro herb, um, I, pr I planted four cells and I only see this one. So I don't know what happened or, you know, we'll wait and see. And in the back is some parsley and both of the cells in the back have sprouted. So pretty good germination so far. Down here, um, I have some Chinese cabbage, which, wow, they are growing super duper fast. Um, they're really tall. So I'll be able to split those out here pretty soon. I have some arugula, really great. Kale growing fast. And then a giant noble spinach, which is growing fast. So um, all but two cells on this flat have um, germinated. Okay, this one here are my flowers. So I've never done flowers before. This is my first time. Um, and they were a little bit slower to germinate um, and sprout than the others. And so this one here is the snapdragons and you can see there's lots of little sprouts. Look at this one has a bunch of them. I don't, I don't remember putting all those seeds in there but maybe, maybe I did because they were so small. These are the lupins. Um, this whole row is lupins and I only got one that germinated, look at that. And, and they're pretty obvious when they're, when they sprout, right? They're big. And I don't see anything else going on in the rest of these cells. Um, these are Celosia Flamingo. Uh, I got one, two, three, four, five. So all of these did good. Some of them have multiple. And then I have the Helotropes Marine one. They're tiny. These, these little sprouts are tiny. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's not really focusing, but one, two, three. I got four cells that germinated on the flowers. So that one is about 50% germination. Now I took this one and I just did strictly red onion seeds. And they are a little bit slower, but they're coming, um, coming out. We've got several that have sprouted so far and more that are on, on their way. So we'll see, that one probably needs a little bit more time. Um, Jackson just started his seeds yesterday. He was late to the game, so there's really nothing that's going to be um, growing just yet. But he, he's got tomatoes, peppers, he has blue bonnet flowers, um, but like I said, that's going to take a little while. 
This one is Adam's tray. He wanted to grow some shishitos, jalapenos, serranos, creole tomatoes, beefsteak tomatoes, and cilantro. Uh, right now, the only thing that's sprouting on his tray are all of the tomatoes. The peppers haven't sprouted on his tray just like they haven't sprouted on my tray either. Okay, over here, um, we have got some spinach, and I've got three of the cells down this row that have uh, sprouted, and I've got okra, uh, which is the Clemson spineless, and I have four cells that have sprouted. Uh, cauliflower, man, these did really good, and so did the broccoli. So I'm gonna have to split these out pretty soon. Um, they look a little leggy to me. I, I don't know, I've never grown cauliflower or broccoli. I don't know if they're supposed to look like that, but <clears throat> you know, I keep the I keep the light pretty low, um, but maybe I need to lower it some more, I'm not sure. Okay, down here is my experiment. Um, I threw some daisy seeds in here because I didn't have any more room. Um, nothing's happened yet, but this is the lettuce. Look at that. I threw a bunch of lettuce in here, so let's take a look. We have on this row is the Paris Island lettuce, and on this row is the ruby red leaf um, lettuce. Isn't that beautiful? I could eat these as microgreens, um, like baby greens, and stick them in salads. Um, I kind of want to continue to grow it and just see how much bigger I can get it in this thing. And then another experiment, I made these containers, uh, filled them with soil and some more lettuce. This is also Paris Island. This is Grand Rapids. I don't see any activity with this Grand Rapids. It's, right now it's dry, so I need to water it, but um, nothing's happened there. And then this one is Ruby Leaf and Paris Island, and it looks like only the Paris Island has actually sprouted. You can still see the seeds uh, on top here. So. So far, these didn't work out as well, but this thing was killer. So that's all the seeds uh, that we have planted so far. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to show you the um, bare root strawberry progress that we've made. And those things took off. As soon as they got planted into the soil, um, I would say about two or three days into it, I'd already started seeing green leaves sprouting and they're doing really well. So let me take so the seeds are looking great. Um, there's still a lot more germination that needs to take place, but it has been two weeks, so I'm expecting everything to be uh, pretty, mel uh, pretty well broken out of the soil. Now, in the last video, I did talk about grapes that I had purchased. So I'm going to show you that I purchased four uh, grape containers and I'm hoping to put two on each side of the garden fence and, and that the vines will take off and it'll just be a prolific uh, grapevine wall. Uh, and if it produces grapes, that's even better uh, because we get to enjoy the fruit. But the main idea is to just kind of be able to cover that fence with something green and beautiful. Um, also, we had started the no-dig bed, and because of all the extra soil that I had, I went ahead and laid a pretty thick layer, about four inches or so of, of the soil on top of the cardboard that I had already previously laid out, and then I laid some hay out on top of that. Um, so my hope is that by the time um, it's, it's, it's spring and we can start planting some potatoes, or um, I, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that bed yet. Potatoes is kind of what I'm thinking, but I'm, I'm not sure yet. Um, also, we have ordered 15 yards of that raised bed dirt that we had delivered on Friday. It has now been moved into the beds, and so I am very excited to see these garden beds full of dirt. This means that I am just one more step away from getting some uh, plants into the, into the garden beds. Um, so that's very exciting. I still have one more bed that we need to add. Um, and then we'll be complete for this for this spring and summer. Lastly, I wanted to show you one more thing that I found at Walmart. So if you want to check your local Walmart to see if they have these right now um, in the South Texas area. So I don't know if all Walmarts are the same across the nation as far as when they put out their uh, seasonal items. But right now is the time to get all of your spring stuff, like any seeds, um, any fertilizers, whatever it is that you're needing. Um, you want to get it before they're picked over. It, it's time to do it now. And so when I went to look to see what they had I found these um, these seed potatoes um, this is the Yukon gold and there's about one two three it looks like there's 
five of the seed potatoes in here, and these were only $3. Um, so, what well, says six tubers? Maybe there's six in here. Okay, guys, I had to change cameras before I was so rudely interrupted by the fact that my disc was full. I switched over to my phone, and I've never done this on my phone, so bear with me. Hopefully, it turns out good and you can hear me okay. But what I was uh, telling you about the stuff I found at Walmart, I mentioned about the Yukon Gold. I also found the red onion sets. Now, there are a 100 bulbs in here. This is insane. So this is a lot of onions. Um, and I, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to have room to plant all of this. And you can see the bag is very full. In addition to the red onions, let's see, I got, looks like I got two of the Yukon seed potatoes. I got the yellow onions and the white onions. So apparently I'm craving onions. I don't know. I just don't see these very often. And the fact that they were only $3 and you get a hundred bulbs for one of these packs was an insane deal. And with everything that I'm trying to figure out in the garden, I said, I might as well just grab them now while they're available. And then I'll figure out where to put them later. So I encourage you to check out your local Walmart if this is something that you don't normally find. I don't normally find these um, you know, in the middle of the planting season. That's why I've been anxiously waiting for Walmart to put all of their spring stuff out because I knew that it was going to go fast. And normally I see their bulb flowers, but I've not seen the vegetables. So this was exciting uh, to find. And I'm hoping that I can get some, you know, some stuff out of this. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of short, but I just wanted to give you an update on the seeds and let you know that the dirt is actually in the beds, so that's exciting. Um, the strawberries are doing well. The, I wanted to show you the grapes. The only two other things that I haven't shown you yet, and I'll show you in the next video, is I purchased a lemon tree, a Meyer lemon tree, and a thornless Mexican lime tree. Um, and I actually have a couple of other fruit trees um, on hold. They haven't released them from the garden center, but I did prepay for them because I was afraid they were gonna go fast. And so I have a gala apple tree on its way in the spring. Um, I have a, what is it called? A Sam Houston peach tree as well on its way. Um, I'm kind of like, I've kind of been crazy about um, fruit trees here lately. I wasn't expecting to jump into fruit trees just yet. Um, but you know, I've got spring fever, just like many of you probably have, and I'm, you know, things are starting to come together in the garden and I'm, I'm thinking, okay, maybe we should put some trees over here and put some of this and that. And so I'm going a little bit crazy and I need to slow down, but I'm too excited. I'm so excited to see all the greenery, um, that's going to take place. This, this property had nothing on it. And now that things are starting to come together, I can't wait, you know, to see it, you know, in full uh, action, I, I guess. I don't know. What I, anyway. Um, all right. Well, that's it for today's video. Uh, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that jazz. And that way um, we can, we can continue to grow this garden together because I don't know what I'm doing and I'm just experimenting. And you know, there's going to be, there's going to be things that I'm going to do well at, and there's going to be some things that I don't do so well at. And I've learned a lot already so far. Anyway, I hope you guys are going to have a great rest of your week until next time. Bye guys.